This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by MindThings.com. I'm recruiting as many new porcupines as I can get my hands on. So We've got Sabrielle on our third microphone. She is one of the hosts of Flaming Freedom. We're going to uh, tell you, I guess, or she's going to tell us a disturbing story here about the police. I wanted to talk about the issue that uh, you, you wanted to bring to the table, which was a story about the police and how they treated you, apparently, when you were being arrested for the Occupy Manchester uh, situation where a number of people were arrested in the public park, uh, or what is ostensibly a public park. It was after hours. They threatened you. You did not leave the park, and they arrested you for that. Uh, you ended up getting convicted by a jury of your so-called peers at trial, which was unfortunate because it seemed like a pretty clear constitutional violation to me. You guys should have been able to stay in an ostensibly public place. You weren't being rowdy. Uh, you were just, you know, protesting. We were, in fact, improving the park. Picking it up, we were, that sort of We thing. were picking it up. We had paid for porta potties and we were turning it into a place of public discourse. And we were feeding the homeless. Of course, that's not kosher in Manchester right now. It's not either. kosher in a lot of cities yeah. around uh, the country. So they arrested you and took you away from your friends and your support group. But what's the what's the story there? Uh, well, I being the only free stater who was arrested, I was treated differently that night which was very interesting to me and to everybody obser observing because they took the other four victims away first. And then I stood around for like 10 minutes chatting with everybody else on the sidewalk, you know, across the fence and just kind of waiting for a cop to come up to me. What were you saying, Sabriel? Fire check! For anybody that needs the information, take out a pen and a paper. And they were off you know, a few, several yards away talking to themselves. And I was like, doesn't anybody care that I'm still standing here? Not that I wanted to be arrested, mm. but I was like... You weren't leaving. Yeah, what, what exactly is going on here? And I think they could tell that I was part of the community. I mean, Marv showed up, like 20 people at this least. This is an RV. That yes. The, the, um, the mobile authority resistance vehicle. Yes. Which is here, by the way, at Porkfest. Of course. Yeah. And and so, you know, all of the, the cop block people and a bunch of porcupines came to record and to support, support the occupiers. Um, and so I think they were a little more hesitant uh, to do anything to me because of that, which was really interesting. But then... Five people arrested! Five people arrested! Why are you doing it? Where's the victim? When I was finally, when I was arrested and, um, and Ridley was, was filming me, of course. Me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, they put me, they brought their a separate vehicle just to put me in a, a van. If I did that to somebody, you would, yeah. why are you touching that person? Well, I guess you guys are all lawyers then. Why are you touching that person? Without their and as they were putting me into the van and, you know, buckling my seatbelt, which I couldn't do because I was handcuffed, mm -hmm. um, I sort of, I asked one of the officers, you know, rhetorically, uh, aren't there dangerous people out there? <laughs> they and, could be arresting. They could mean? be arresting. And he said something fascinating. He said, yeah, people like you. Mm. And you are, frankly, as dangerous as they come to these people because you are doing the very worst thing possible. You are disobeying. Yes, it was it was a very telling statement. And then uh, they shut the doors and I was alone for the first time in several hours. And it was the first time there weren't any cameras on me. And all of a sudden the situation kind of hit me and I started crying in the back of this cop car. Mm.
Have you played your fill of pro-government video games? Mine. Things. Dot com. Could be the solution. It's free, imaginative, and you can play it entirely in your web browser. Recolonize the smothered earth. Dig up cool artifacts. Compete with other players in a free market scramble. Just remember to use the coupon code RIDLEY. That gives you twice the mining rate. Mine. Things. Dot com.